Hello and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Hannah and today I'm gonna be doing a Sephora recommendations video because there's a Sephora sale going on. I'm sure you're aware, but I just wanted to weigh in and give some of my recommendations if you wanted them. I've never done a video like this, but I enjoy watching them from other YouTubers. So I wanted to take a shot at it this time and give some of my Sephora recommendations. So if you are interested in hearing what those are, then keep watching. I'm sure you can tell we're in a different location. I'm trying to switch it up because when I film in my little like makeup studio area, I don't like the lighting. I like hate the lighting over there and I feel like the lighting here is a little bit better and it looked more like true to color and I don't look all washed out. But I don't know, let me know what you guys like if you like this little filming area, if you don't care, if you like it better when I'm in like the white sterile filming environment. Just let me know because all I care about is what you guys care about. Okay, so. So let's just jump right in because I have a lot of products and I'm going to start with like skincare stuff first. Starting with the best of the best, this Lancome Absolute Cream Soft Cream. This is a moisturizer, okay? And it's very luxurious. I think it's also pretty expensive, but honestly, I personally think it's worth it to get, like you get what you pay for sometimes, you know? Not always, but with moisturizer, I'm very, very picky. I'm so picky about my moisturizer and I'm at a point in my life where I'm willing to pay top dollar for the best moisturizers so I really love this one from Lancome highly highly recommend I also want to say that since it's like since we're coming into the holidays there's a lot of like holiday gift sets at Sephora sometimes I don't know if you can get this one in a gift set but I know that there's other Lancome gift sets where if you buy the gift set you get like double the product you know what I mean like it's just a better deal sometimes when you buy the gift set so keep that in mind when you're shopping not just for Lancome stuff but for like any gift set at Sephora because usually you're gonna get a better deal when you're buying the gift sets and since we're close to the holidays they have tons of gift sets right now so um yeah highly highly recommend if you're into skincare and you want a really good luxurious beautiful heavenly feeling moisturizer highly recommend this one from Lancome and by the way everything that I mentioned in this video I will link in the description box down below and I will put them in order okay um another moisturizer I wanted to refrain from doing this, but I am going to do this. The one from Charlotte Tilbury, it's also very expensive. I'll insert a picture of it on the screen right here. I have had that before, but I don't currently have it because I'm using this one and I used all the Charlotte Tilbury. I think it's the Magic Cream. Again, a little pricey, but a thousand percent worth it especially right now during the sale highly highly recommend the charlotte tilbury magic cream oh my god that's one of the best moisturizers i've ever used on my skin and i swear to god it made just the moisturizer alone made a huge difference in my skin overall texture everything Mwah. chef's kiss um I think when I run out of this one, I will probably repurchase the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. So another another good recommendation. Um, let's move on to more skincare. I've really been loving this Smart Response Serum from Dermalogica. This is just a serum. I put this on before I put on my moisturizer and it's amazing it says that this is next gen smart serum delivers what your skin needs when it needs it smart response technology reacts to skin's needs to hydrate brighten soothe and address fine lines and wrinkles i've personally been loving this serum i'm into serum i feel like my skin is looking pretty good these days and um yeah i really like this serum from dermalogica recommend this another Dermalogica product that I love this is the pre cleanse I use this to remove my makeup it's very comparable to like a you know like a cleansing balm except for you know how a cleansing balm is like starts out solid and then when you work it into your skin it turns into like an oil this is just the same thing except for it's not solid it's like just in oil form amazing if you're into double cleansing which I'm super into double cleansing uh, I think it makes a huge difference in your skin I usually I usually use this to take off my makeup. Sometimes I'll even remove my makeup with um, the makeup eraser and then I will 
use this to remove anything that I might have missed or you know like the harder stuff like eyelash glue or liquid eyeliner that won't come off I'll use this and then I'll go in and I'll cleanse and what I've been using to cleanse which is also really good is this from skin fix I'm almost out I'm so sad this is the foaming oil cleanser sulfate free hydrating wash this is like really good for your skin I have been loving this as a facial wash love 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 this so much highly 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 recommend if you are looking for a new face wash I love this one so much they also have a really 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 good moisturizer which again I didn't want to talk about any products that I don't physically have anymore but I am gonna talk about this so this is the skin fix barrier triple lipid peptide cream I'm pretty sure it has like awards and stuff because it's just so good I recently finished my jar of it and if you don't believe me you can go back to my empties video because I definitely featured it in that I loved it Another amazing moisturizer. I still think the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream is better, but if you're looking for a more affordable moisturizer, then definitely try the Skin Fix um, moisturizer because it was so good. It was amazing. I have so much to say about all these products, but I'm trying to get through them quick because there's a lot of them. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below and I will answer them or you can always DM me whatever you feel more comfortable doing. This is new to me. They recently sent this to me in PR. This is from Joseph. Simran. This is the Pure Argon Milk Intensive Hydrating Treatment. I haven't been using this for that long, but I have been using it for about a week, and I absolutely love it. It's so good. It is on the thinner side. I would say it's closer to like a facial oil than it is a moisturizer. I usually prefer a thicker moisturizer, but I have really been loving this pure argon milk. I like to use this in the mornings versus the nights. I prefer this um, in the mornings because it's a little lighter in my opinion, but this is also really good. Another product from Josie Moran, this is their whipped argan oil ultra hydrating body butter. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is the best body moisturizer, lotion, body butter, whatever you want to call it. This is the best heaven sent oh my god it's so freaking good this is so good this is so good i am obsessed with moisturizers and lotions if you can't already tell by all my skincare recommendations this is the best lotion i've ever used on my body seriously try it please try it okay just try it just trust me get this especially during the sale please try this it is so freaking good it's amazing this is my second jar it's just so good. This is a new jar. The other one, again, in my empties video. Um, anyways, highly recommend. So good. A tanning product because I love a good fake tan. This is one of my favorite tanners ever. This is from St. Tropez, and this is their Self Tan Purity. I'm almost out, but this is so good. I love this because it's clear. It goes on clear. I know a lot of people love the self tanners with like the color guide or whatever. I just feel so messy when I use those sometimes, so I really prefer this clear one. It gives the most gorgeous, natural looking tan ever. In the summertime, I will put this over a natural tan, and it just... Mm, so good it looks so beautiful and then in the winter I get so pale honestly I get like translucent pale <laughs> and I can't really use like the super dark self tanners in winter because it just looks too crazy on my super pale skin so I love love this one it's just beautiful all the time whether you're using it on top of a natural tan or by itself it's amazing and it smells really nice too and I feel like it's just a lot it just feels a lot cleaner I don't know what it is but just trust me on this one if you're looking for a really good self tan and you don't want to feel like sticky or dirty or you know what I mean if you self tan you know what I'm talking about so good amazing and this also this is from the same line this is also from Saint Tropez from their purity line but this is the bronzing water face mist this is amazing I love this on the face but I also use this as um like it's just a better way to tan your hands and your feet if you self tan you know what I'm talking about um I like to hold this like far away from my hand and then just spray it all over and it doesn't leave my hands feeling orange it just like 
evenly tans them. It's just like a nice fine mist. The nozzle on this is amazing. So uh, I really, really, really like this and I am pretty much out of it. So I should probably stock up. Another product that I've really been loving is this body lotion from Necessaire. This is fragrance free and it feels so good on the skin. If you're not into super moisturizing, hydrating, thick moisturizers, then you would like this one better than this one because I will say that this one is very nourishing. It's very, she's thick, okay? She's thick, but I love, I love a thick girl. This one is a little thinner and it doesn't feel as heavy on the skin. So if you prefer your lotions to feel a little bit lighter, then I would definitely go with this one. Um, I really like this one a lot. This one is really nice and I love that it's fragrance free because it's better for your skin. Another moisturizer that I've really been loving is this one. This is the Active Clay Cleanser from Dermalogica. Did I say moisturizer? I meant to say facial cleanser. I don't know what I said. Anyways, <laughs> this, is a, this is a cleanser and this one is really good. I feel like it I don't want to say it's more aggressive, but it definitely feels more aggressive than this one, if that makes sense. I don't know. This one just feels more aggressive, uh, but I really like it a lot. This is the Active Clay Cleanser from Dermalogica. It feels like it does a really, really good job at getting uh, all the gunk out of my pores. I wanted to share this with you. This is Blue de Chanel. This is a men's cologne that I love and I wear. I wear this because my boyfriend passed away in 2019, which feels like yesterday, but when I say it out loud, it's like a long time ago. I bought this when he passed because I wanted to smell him and this is what he wore. And I always get compliments on it when I wear it, even though it's a men's cologne. Literally, everyone's like, oh my God, you smell so good. I even mix this with my perfumes and it just, oh my God, it just smells so good. So highly recommend this. I feel like this is a unisex scent. I feel like women could wear this or you could buy this for your husband. It smells amazing. This is one of my favorite colognes out there, Blue de Chanel. Okay, let's talk about some hair care. I recently picked this up last time I was at Sephora. This is the Jisoo Honey Infused Hair Oil. I got the little one because I just wanted to try it and I absolutely love it. I would definitely grab the big one. <laughs> I feel like I can use so much of this in my hair and it doesn't weigh it down or make it feel greasy. It's just so nourishing and hydrating. But then again, my hair is thick and it's also bleached. So I feel like my hair just drinks this up. I love this. I love the way it smells. I love the way it feels. Highly recommend. I'm pretty sure I saw this in a gift set. So if you are going to get this, maybe grab yourself the gift set because why not? So yeah, really love this. Another good one, this is Good Behavior 4-in-1 Prep Spray Detangler 24-Hour Frizz Control, 450 Heat Protection and Shine. This is from IGK, love this so much. I spray this in my hair after the shower so that it detangles and it's easier to brush through. And I also use this as a heat protectant. I love the way it smells and it doesn't weigh down my hair. It feels amazing. I'm super picky about hair products, by the way, because because I usually don't like to wear hair products and I feel like most hair products make my hair feel, you know, like when your hair feels like you have a film on it. I can't stand that. I love when my hair feels clean. So I'm super, super picky about my hair products and um, just trust me, this is so good. Another good one from IGK. I'm a huge fan of IGK, by the way. This is their first class charcoal detox dry shampoo. They have, I think, three different ones. There's like a pink one, there's a green one, and then there's this one. I have all of them and I love all of them, but I like this one the best. It's very heavy duty, okay? Like if you like to go a few days without washing your hair, this is for you. Very heavy duty. As soon as you spray this in your hair, it will suck up all that oil, I swear to you. Sometimes it is a little drying, but this is hands down the best dry shampoo that I have ever used. It is so amazing. Highly, highly recommend. How annoying is it that I've said highly, highly recommend after every product 
I highly recommend all of these products. Just letting you know so I could stop saying highly recommend. Another one from IGK, their offline hair mask. I don't physically have that, but it is featured in my empties video. I am not going to talk about any products that I don't personally have experience with. So that's why I keep referencing like the products that I don't physically have with me. I have used, I swear. Um, but the IGK offline hair mask, amazing. I think there's turmeric in it. I don't know, but it's so good. It smells divine and it makes my hair feel so good. I personally use it in the shower. I'm pretty sure that's where you're supposed to use it, but what I do is I shampoo and then instead of conditioner, I'll use the hair mask and I put it in my hair. I leave it for three minutes. It's super quick and then I rinse it out and it feels bone apple tea. So good. Love it amazing pretty much the only hair mask that I have ever liked because I'm really picky about like I said hair products I feel like a lot of them make my hair feel like there's film and the one from IGK the offline hair mask doesn't make my hair feel nasty so love that let's move on to makeup now <sighs> okay I feel like this is almost a skincare product but it's kind of not okay this is the tiger grass color correcting treatment from dr jart you've probably seen this on tiktok it went viral because it starts out as green and then when you work it into your skin it literally like adjusts to your skin tone color this is a broad spectrum spf 30 sunscreen and it helps minimize redness it's really good for like natural days or like i don't know if you're one of those girls that likes to wear makeup to the beach but Sometimes I am and I feel like this is like a two-in-one like killing two birds with one stone You know what I mean? Like you get your SPF, but you also get some like nice skin coverage And it makes your skin look pretty and it feels good on the skin. So I really like this for that reason I wear this on days that I want like that. No makeup makeup look. You know what I mean? This is perfect for that really like this um, this is the tiger grass from dr jart another foundation i love this one from urban decay this is what i've been using lately and i kind of go back and forth but i always come back to this one for some reason this is the stay naked weightless liquid foundation i felt like their color range was pretty good as well i really like this one um I wear this in a lot of my tutorials and pictures so if you're curious definitely check them out but this is one of my favorite foundations as well as this one from Smashbox I've been using this one for years and I really love this one this one is long wear it lasts all day but it looks good on the skin I feel like sometimes when you wear like a long wear foundation it can end up looking cakey throughout the day this one does not this one has such a great finish and it just lasts literally all day I'm pretty sure I've slept in this and woke up the next day and it still looked good, but it's hydrating. It says Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation, and I really love this one. I also want to share some primers with you guys because those are important to me, and these are two of my favorite ones, if you can't tell. This one is pretty much gone. <laughs> This one is almost gone, but let's start with this one. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Face Primer Long Wear Foundation Grip Preps Smooths and Smooths and Perfects. I'm getting tongue tied. This is so good if you want your foundation to last all day definitely grab one of these I also have large pores and I feel like this fills them in and smooths my skin this is one of my all-time favorite primers that I've ever used love this love this so much and this one as well I really love this Too Faced Hangover RX face primer because it's similar to a face lotion and like I said before, I am super into moisturizers and skincare and all that. So I like this one because it's very, very, very moisturizing. But I feel like it does tend to give a dewier look. So if you like like a more natural dewy skin look, then you would like this. Um, if you're not into like a really moisturizing face primer, then you probably won't. But I love this and it smells really good. And I don't really have dry skin, but I feel like this would be really good for someone with dry skin. Some concealers. These are pretty much the only concealers that I've been using in like every single look or every single day that I wear makeup. 
I kind of alternate between the two, but I really love this Stay Naked Correcting Concealer from Urban Decay. I feel like this is just a really good concealer, and I love the different undertones that they have in their concealers. This one is like a pinkier, peachier undertone, and love it. So good. And then this NARS concealer what is this the I don't know what it's called but it's it's the NARS concealer that like everybody uses this is kind of new to me but I picked this up last time I was at Sephora because literally everyone and their mother uses this concealer and I hadn't tried it at the time so I grabbed one for myself and I got the little one because I didn't want to commit to the big one yet but I got it in the shade custard and I love it I can see why everyone uses it it's really good so definitely this is a good concealer okay I grabbed this contour bronzer from Huda Beauty last time I was at Sephora because for some reason I was like in the mood to try new concealers and bronzers which was so weird because usually I'm like wanting eyeshadows and lipsticks but for some reason I was like I need to try new contours and concealers I grabbed this contour this is actually called the Cantor contour and bronzing cream okay so it's like this is what it looks like it's so weird because i feel like it starts out as a cream but once you work it into the skin it almost like dries down as a powder it has a beautiful finish it's very 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 pigmented i think i got one that was a little too dark i almost feel like i could probably go a little lighter um uh, because it is very pigmented i got the shade light i don't even know if there's actually a lighter one love this amazing this is my number one favorite contour now love it especially if you're into like cream contours i don't know even if you're into powder you'll like this so good get this one okay so this is old i honestly don't even know if they still sell this um i'm really sorry if they don't but this is the anastasia blush trio i've had this for so long it's honestly probably expired now but for some reason i started reaching for this again when doing my makeup and i absolutely love it it's literally perfect the colors so good i like to when i put this on i literally just run my brush through all three colors and like mix them all together and they're just like the prettiest prettiest blush shade ever for my skin tone if your skin tone is similar and you like really kinky blushes you'll love this one this is the pink passion blush trio from anastasia amazing another anastasia product that i've been loving actually and this is new to me i've only used this about three times this is the brow freeze styling wax and i actually bought this on accident don't ask me how but i did and I kind of was like, mm, I don't know how this is going to be. I just, I don't know. I thought it was going to be, I didn't think it was going to be strong enough. This is so good. This is really good. Honestly, like if you're into a laminated brow look, if you like to put like strong brow gels, you know, like I use got to be glued a lot in my eyebrows because I want my eyebrow hairs to stay in place and I don't want them to go anywhere. So I, you know, compared to got to be glued, I was like, oh, I don't know if this is going to like be able to match, you know what I mean? But honestly, this took me by surprise. I was really surprised. This is very good. I felt like it was very strong hold and I was very impressed by this brow freeze. So if you're looking for a brow product, this one, especially if you like that laminated brow look, Another really good brow product that is like OG that you probably already own, but you know, it's on sale. 24 hour brow setter from Benefit. This is just so good. You know, some people say this has a really strong hold. It does, but not like got to be glued. Okay. I don't feel like this is even as strong as the brow freeze. I don't. I don't. To me, this is not as strong. It's good, but it's not as strong as the brow freeze. So if you're looking for like a less intense brow gel you know this one is really good this is like a very good um classic type of brow gel amazing like this one okay mascara i feel like i sleep on mascara a little bit because i wear false lashes all the time but i will tell you that every single time i put on false lashes i always do a coat of mascara first okay so i do use mascara i just don't like wear it if that makes sense like by itself i've had this in my drawer for a really long time this is the mascara from charlotte tilbury this is the legendary lashes volume 2 and i started using this before i put on my lashes it is so good it is freaking so good it's so like i just feel like it makes my lashes look so thick and full and long 
but the formula is so creamy. I don't know. And I usually don't like mascara wands like this. I'll show you after this one. I have another mascara to talk about, but I usually don't like this kind of wand. Oh my God, this mascara, so good. Amazing. If you're into mascaras, please try this one from Charlotte Tilbury because it's so good. I'll show you the type of mascara wand that I like. So usually I like this type, you know what I mean? Like the little rubbery ones that are like short little spikies. That's the type of wand I usually go for because I just feel like I have more control with it. Um, and that's why I like this mascara. This is the Roller Lash Mascara from Benefit. This is also a really, really good one, but I feel like it's not as good as the Charlotte Tilbury. It's still good though. So I do recommend this one, especially if you like brushes like this, like I do, then you'll like this one a lot. And it's a really good formula. Another eyebrow product. I'm sorry, I'm kind of going out of order. You've probably seen me use this a million times. This is from Urban Decay. This is their brow blade. It has a waterproof pencil on one side. I don't know where my cap went. And it has this um, little brush tip on the other side. This is like a brow an ink stain but if you're into a softer look but you still want to be able to draw like hair like strokes throughout your brow the brow blade from urban decay is probably more for you am i losing my voice okay uh liquid liner this one from tarte this is a sex kitten is that what it's called sex kitten liquid liner it has like a little cat on the top this is good. Honestly, this one is so good. I'm very picky about my liquid liner because I have hooded eyes, as you can see. I have very hooded eyes, so when my eyes are just like relaxed, because in like pictures and videos, I literally hold up my brows so that my eyelids don't look so heavy. But when I'm like relaxed just during the day and I have liquid liner on, it tends to transfer because my hooded eyes like heat up the product and then it transfers up on my lid, whatever. If you have hooded eyes, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, then be glad. This doesn't transfer. So good. Love it. It's also very pigmented and this brush tip, or I think it's a felt tip actually, this tip is just so nice and sharp. Gives a really good find application. Love this liquid liner. Some more eye products. I'm surprised I don't have any eyeshadow for you guys. I'm so sorry. But some more eye products, some lashes. I obviously love lashes. House of Lashes, one of the OG brands. Um, this is their cruelty-free vegan pair. This is called Good Karma, and these ones are gorgeous. They are a little on the shorter side. I usually prefer longer ones, but I do really like these for like a natural glam type of look. Another, I really love their Iconic lashes. Their Iconic Light lashes. I love their boudoir lashes and their boudoir light lashes. So if you don't know what styles to get from House of Lashes, those are the ones that I recommend, but they have so many styles to choose from. Those are just my favorites. They're all good. Love their lashes. I've literally been wearing their lashes for years. I also really love Velour lashes. They're so gorgeous. I specifically love the Effortless collection because you don't have to trim them. I usually always trim like my lashes if they're like the standard lash size. I usually cut them pretty much in half and I only apply them on the outer corner. But these ones are smaller as you can see. They come that way on purpose so I really love that because I don't have to trim them it's one less thing I have to do velour has very luxurious lashes they also have magnetic lashes now which I've tried and I love I like all their lashes specifically the effortless ones but honestly all of them are so good and beautiful and their packaging is just so nice luxurious love it love velour some more lash and brow products this is grande lash and grande brow from grande cosmetics i recently started using this lash enhancing serum because i've seen this go viral all over tiktok i've had friends that use it this makes your lashes grow like crazy and they also have a grande brow serum that i've just started using as well these ones are new i if you've seen my other videos, I recently talked about their gift sets. So they do have gift sets, especially at Sephora. I definitely check those out because they have really good ones. But I just got these in a gift set. I have some more in my bathroom. But um, Grande Brow, if you need some help with your eyelashes, if they're lacking and you want them to look longer and thicker and fuller, definitely try Grande Lash and Grande Brow for growing purposes. We're almost done, you guys. <sighs> really good lip liner. 
so buttery soft creamy smooth love it it is like a high-end lip liner but this is the lip cheat lip pencil from charlotte tilbury in the shade iconic nude it's beautiful it's like the best nude color i'll show you it's just so good it's the perfect nude very universal if you're looking for a lip liner try this one i forgot to mention this when i talked about the other blush but this is the kaja beauty blush stamp in the shade saucy and these are so fun because it's literally a stamp and this one is a heart shape comes with the stamp and then at the bottom is this little stamp pad you dip it in there you stamp it on your face i featured this in my kaja beauty video and i really love this the color the way it wore this is obviously a cream or liquid blush so you have to be into that but if you're into cream or liquid blushes you would absolutely love this one i thought that the consistency was amazing i felt like it wore beautifully on my skin over my foundation i really love this so i'm very picky about my powders and specifically setting powders this is a waterproof setting powder from urban decay this is their all-nighter waterproof setting powder look at the packaging it looks wet it looks like there's like water drops but it's just the packaging i think that's so cool anyways um i use this when i'm touching up my makeup and i I just feel like it's so good I just take it on a little brush and then I pat it on my skin and it looks so nice it has a really nice finish it absorbs all those oils and it never ever leaves me looking cakey this is what I use when I'm touching up my, my makeup throughout the day and this is literally how I get my makeup to stay all day is this this is the only powder I use to touch up with and I only use this to touch up I feel like I should have mentioned that I use a different setting powder like when I'm initially doing my makeup application but throughout the day to touch up this is what I use this pressed powder and last but not least are these setting sprays they're both from Urban Decay they're both all-nighter I clearly love the Urban Decay all-nighter collection because I featured like freaking a million things from the all-nighter collection but these are OG probably something you already own but if you don't and you're looking for a good setting spray I highly recommend I use these pretty much every time I do my makeup this is the Urban Decay all-nighter setting spray this is like the original one and then this is the Urban Decay all-nighter ultra matte setting spray really like this one really do so yeah good setting sprays and that is it i'm sorry that this video was so long but i hope you guys got a bunch of good ideas if you have any recommendations for me please tell me because i love when you guys give me recommendations i want to know what your favorite products from sephora are so definitely comment down below before the sale is over so that i can know what to grab for myself if you do grab any of these let me know because i want to know if you like them or not and thank you so much for watching i hope you guys have so much fun shopping the fasora wow the sephora sale <laughs> and i will see you guys in the next video bye